in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. So to prepare ourselves to receive Jesus Christ in the Holy Eucharist, body, blood, soul, and divinity, let us call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you are the living bread come down from heaven. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you promise that whoever eats this bread will live forever. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in, in the highest, highest and, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that always pondering spiritual things, we may carry out in both word and deed that which is pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Samuel. In those days, Saul went down to the, to the desert of Ziph with 3,000 picked men from Israel to search for David in the desert of Ziph. So David and Abishai went among Saul's soldiers by night and found Saul lying asleep within the barricade with his spear thrust into the ground at his head and Abner and his men sleeping around him. Abishai whispered to David, God has delivered your enemy into your grasp this day. Let me nail him to the ground with one thrust of the spear. I will not need a second thrust. But David said to Abishai, Do not harm him, for who can lay hands on the Lord's anointed and remain unpunished? So David took the spear and the water jug from their place at Saul's head, and they got away without anyone seeing or knowing or awakening. All remained asleep, because the Lord had put them into a deep slumber. Going across to an opposite slope, David stood on a remote hilltop, and at a great distance from Abner, son of Ner, and the troops. He said, here is the king's spear. Let an attendant come over to get it. The Lord will reward each man for his justice and faithfulness. Today, though the Lord delivered you into my grasp, I will not harm the Lord's anointed. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord, the Lord is kind and merciful. Bless the Lord, O my soul, all my being, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, forget not all his benefits. The Lord is kind and merciful. He pardons all your inequities, heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction, crowns you with kindness and compassion. The Lord is kind and merciful. Merciful and gracious is the Lord, slow to anger and abounding in kindness. Not according to our sins does he deal with us, nor does he requite, requite us according to our crimes. The Lord is kind and merciful. As far as the east is from the west, so far as he put our transgression, transgressions from us, as a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. 
The Lord is kind and merciful. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, it is written, the first man, Adam, became a living being, the last Adam, a living, giving spirit. But the spiritual was not there first, rather the natural and then the spiritual. The first man was from the earth, earthly, the second man from heaven. As was the earthly one, so also are the earthly. And as is the heavenly one, so also are the heavenly. Just as we have borne the image of the earthly one, so shall also bear the image of the heavenly one. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. I give you a new commandment, says the Lord. Love one another as I have loved you. Alleluia, alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, To you who hear, I say, love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. Praise for those who mistreat you. To the person who strikes you on one cheek, offer the other one as well. And from the person who takes your cloak, do not withhold even your tunic. Give to everyone who asks of you. And from the one who takes what is yours, do not demand it back. Do to others that you would have them do to you. For if you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners do the same. If you lend money to those from whom you expect repayment, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners and get back the same amount. But rather, love your enemies and do good to them, and lend expecting nothing back. Then your reward will be great, and you will be children of the Most High. For He Himself is kind to the ungrateful and the wicked. Be merciful, just as your Father is merciful. Stop judging, and you will not be judged. Stop condemning, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and gifts will be given to you. A good measure, packed together, shaken down and overflowing, will be poured into your lap. For the measure with which you measure will, in return, be measured to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, of all, all things, things visible, visible and invisible. And invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, and I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. For the grace to be able to forgive our enemies, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the mercy which helps us not to pass judgment on others, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For hope and contrition in the hearts of those who are dying at this time, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
As our quad members grow in faith and in numbers, may they listen to what Jesus is saying to them and act on his word. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the dead in our parish and all our families, especially Janice Inks, Chris Cuevas, Glenn Parker, and Debbie Postelier. May they rest in the peace of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our heart, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Almighty God, we thank you for your blessings. We thank you for our new church. We thank you for feeding us with your body and blood and with your word. Help us always to do your will, to be the best that we can be through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. As we celebrate your mysteries, O Lord, with the observance that is your due, we humbly ask you that what we offer to the honor of your majesty may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. He lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without him we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. For 1,988 years we've been celebrating the Holy Eucharist in obedience to Jesus' command. Justin the martyr, born in the year 100, wrote beautiful things about the Eucharist. He said, we call this food Eucharist, and no one is permitted to partake of it except one who believes our teaching to be true and is being washed in the washing, which is for the remission of sins and for regeneration, we call baptism, and is thereby living as Christ has enjoined. For not as common bread nor common drink do we receive years, but since Jesus Christ our Savior was made incarnate by the Word of God, and as both flesh and blood for our salvation, so too, as we have been taught, the food which is being made into the Eucharist by the Eucharistic prayer set down by him, and by the change of which our blood and flesh is nourished, is both the flesh and blood of that incarnated Jesus. We do not receive these as common bread and common drink. We have been taught that the food which is blessed by the prayer of his word, and from which our blood and flesh by transmutation are nourished, is the flesh and blood of that Jesus who was made flesh. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray, by singing down your spirit on them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and integrated into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broken, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. Innocent or when summer was ended, he took the chalice. 
And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Louis our Bishop, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray for every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you already. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we may experience the effects of the salvation which is pledged to us by these mysteries through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.